when we recreated the images into 360 degree virtual reality, uh, it became obvious very quickly that there's such a stark contrast between the virus infected abnormal lung and the more healthy adjacent lung tissue. And it's such a contrast that you do not need an MD after your name to understand these images. This is something that the general public can take a look at and really start to comprehend how severe the amount of damage that this is causing to the lung tissue. The damage that we're seeing is not isolated to any one part of the lung. This is severe damage to both lungs diffusely. So when you saw this, what did you feel? What was your first reaction? My first reaction is, you know, as somebody who spends a lot of time uh, educating the public about various conditions as well as professionals, I wanted to get this message out and get, the, get this picture out to the public so that people who so far have not been heeding the warning of public health professionals can perhaps see these images and see the destruction that is uh, being caused in the lungs and why these patients' lungs are failing to the point of needing a mechanical ventilator. Hopefully the public can see these images and really start to understand why this is so serious and how this virus really is not discriminating uh, amongst various people, how it is really starting to affect people of all different ages. So with VR technology, you can really see this damage, which is important for all of us to understand the possibilities of what can happen with COVID-19. So can you briefly talk a little bit more about this technology? How does it work? How is it used? And how do you think it's going to help you in the fight against COVID-19? So at GW, we've been using the Surgical Theater 360-degree VR platform for approximately four years. Uh, we were the first uh, thoracic program in the country uh, to use this particular software to create VR images. It's been used several years now, both for surgical planning um, as well as patient education. Um, so when we had our COVID positive patient transferred to us, uh, we very quickly uh, recreated these images into the VR platform so that we can get a better look at the damage that is being caused to the lung. Well, having seen it now, it's much easier for you to describe what's happening inside our lungs, and that really puts it into perspective and how COVID-19 can really be a wrecking ball, for the lack of a better term, on our lungs. Exactly. Uh, we, we do know that the majority of patients who are testing positive for the virus uh, exhibit very minor or maybe even no symptoms, but approximately 20% of patients are exhibiting uh, shortness of breath and more severe symptoms. And a percentage of those patients are the ones that are we, we're now seeing in our intensive care units. And many of those patients are requiring uh, mechanical respiration, requiring to be put on a machine to help them breathe. Wow, this is really scary. So 